Okay, Brian, so in our last video, we showed how easy or difficult it was to connect the Alexa to the Philips Hue lights. And to be clear, it's, it's fairly easy to set up the, the Hue lights app and That's to control right. them with right. just the Philips software. Right. So we got this little package uh, right. from Amazon that had the Hue bridge, and it had three of these multicolor Hue lights in it, right. and then the Hue app, and that all set up flawlessly. Right, on easy, both of easy. our phones, right. on a third phone we tried it on, it right. was no problem. Now I really, Brian, I still want to get to the smart thing. So. Right, but right. we're going to use that, I think, to control actual light switches. And everything. We'll control the, the Philips well, stuff. We'll have to we figure that We hope it'll out. control everything, <laughs> but we're going to get to that. But as you said last week, what? You need to crawl before you Yeah, you need something. to crawl before you walk. All right. So, but we wanted to show you integration and all through this process <laughs> of playing with home automation gear, we want to understand not only how to set it up, but can you integrate things like Alexa, which I like to use. You right. have the Google Home. Right. And this week, Google Homes. Okay, Paul. So when I go into my home control settings for my Google Home device, it says add your smart devices to control with your assistant. So I just hit the little plus button on here. And then it says, do I have Nest? Do I have Hue? Do I have smart things? Right, but it's not necessarily sensing those on the network. It's just those are default settings. That's right. What so I'm going to choose Hue. So it's a good thing you have one of those three things. Well, we planned for that. <laughs> and now it says connect Hue Bridge to Google. So to do that, tap the, um, the pair button below and then press the link button. Pairing complete. Done. And then I can just assign rooms so I can define what room these different lights are in. So I get my three different Lamps, L lamps right. and I get to say that they're all in, you know, tap to assign, I'm going to call it studio, tap to assign to the studio, tap to the sign to the studio. All right. And then I can edit those, you know, so, as I move them around. So you can do it on the app. You can now probably turn the studio on and off using that, I presume. Yep. So I've, That it, we were able to do with Amazon eventually. So, well, let me point this out. This was where things got amazing. Well, yeah. or at least better, right? That so as soon as I do that, on the app, Paul, it says, it tells, you how, it tells you how to, to control these. Well, they did that a little bit on Alexa. The problem is we use the same exact, the language, what they told us didn't seem to work. Right. So I can say, <laughs> okay, Google, make the hue color lamp two purple. You got it. Changing hue, color lamp two to purple. So that one turned purple. That was purple. that one. And it turned purple. Right, so that's an example it gave. And it's called the hue, color lamp two because, you know, I didn't rename it. In there. So, so the one thing that we, okay, so that was definitely easier. I don't think we ever could figure out changing colors at all on Alexa. <laughs> we could only say, ask it to set uh, per, how, what percentage of brightness. Can you do that on it? So, um, like, tell us. Okay, Google. Make the hue color lamp to white. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Did I do it wrong? Okay, Google. Make the hue color lamp to white. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. <laughs> Can you... Uh... So I'm saying that exactly right. Okay, Google. Make the hue color lamp to green. Okay, changing hue color <laughs> lamp to green. Maybe you can never get back. Okay, Google, make the hue color lamp to yellow. You got it, changing hue color lamp to, to yellow. Okay, Google, make the hue color lamp to white. Sure, changing hue color lamp to, to white. So we see, obviously, some inconsistencies. Right. Who knows? I okay, see. Google, brighten studio lights. Sure, brightening three lights. Okay, Google, dim studio lights. You got it, dimming three lights. Okay, Google, turn off studio lights. Okay, turning three lights off. Okay. So, Brian, as we said, with Alexa, we were able to get brightness to work 
Yep. But no colors and no scenes. So That's we're right. already ahead. But can Google, because it can do brightness, it can turn them to different colors, yep. can it also do handle the scenes that we defined in not the Phillips? Out, not out of the box, no. Okay. So that's not supported currently, but there are some uh, more technical ways of doing it with If This Then That apps and, uh, and things like okay. that, but we're, that's beyond the scope of what we're going to do on this right. show. But essentially, yes, you can say, okay, Google, set studio lights to white. You got it. Changing three lights to white. And we don't know why that wasn't working at first, but now it okay. is. So uh, I think overall, I think the end user experience for controlling lights in one room was better with the Google than the right. uh, Amazon device. With the Philips Hue system. All right. Well, there you have it. There's our integration with Philips, Alexa, and the Google Home. And again, we're going to take that and we'll continue to do the integration with our Google and Alexa devices, or Echo Dot, we should say, right here. And we're going to move into the smart things. All right. Very good. Thanks for watching. Thanks.